beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel thank you so much for joining the channel today if you are new here please do not forget the subscribe button is somewhere here please subscribe to our channel and make sure you invite a friend or a family member or share this video to them so that they can watch and equally benefit from this yeah so today i'm talking about one european country which is quite cheap and a lot of people do not know about this well i'm going to be telling you some little things that you need to know about this but uh, about this country but before i proceed i would like to draw your attention to the fact that to study in this country is not that expensive but the very first thing you need to do is to put your money all right make sure you plan your budget know the plan know how much you have before you start the application then point number two is if you are preparing to study in portugal know that after you gain admissions, you have to pay a tuition deposit. It is necessary and you must pay it before you can apply for the Portuguese study visa or the study visa to Portugal. Now, another factor you should put into consideration is that if you want to apply to colleges or universities in uh, Portugal, you should remember that most of these schools are going to ask you for legalized documents. That's your academic credentials have to be legalized. Nigerians, you have to go to the Ministry of Education foreign affairs and portuguese embassy to do the legalization fees are involved i do not know how much it is please ask these various uh, authorities cameroonians if you graduate from ub take it to ub then if you are going again if you want to apply for bachelor's or master's you have to go to the gc board for confirmation then you gather all the documents now you go to the ministry of foreign affairs to do the legalization from there now you go to the portuguese embassy this is how it is for other nationalities like Ghanaians, kenyans liberians please follow the same procedure on how to do legalization if you skip one of these when you go there they will send you back to there because you cannot be going to the ministry of foreign affairs whereas the education ministry or your university did not certify the document i hope you understand now if you want to apply to portuguese universities note that you have to pay tuition instrumentally that is why i told you that at the beginning that portugal is not that complicated all you need to do is to apply for a school when your admission letter comes to you they will then give you the distribution the how you are going to pay each month okay so and most portuguese universities are not that expensive this is a fact guys now prepare yourself to apply but what are some of the things you need to know one application begins in february 2024 some universities may start early as january but the main application is february 2024 prepare yourself now as you are watching this video and share it so that somebody can learn because i know in february when or maybe around march when application will be closing some people will still come here and say they didn't know that they had to legalize documents and you want to move abroad you are not doing research and you want to move abroad you cannot succeed. Milton cannot do the work alone. You have to also do your part. Milton is just here to help. Thank you so much. Another thing you should notice or you should put into consideration when applying to Portugal is that Portugal welcomes internationals. Portugal needs families. And if you buy a property in Portugal, you may just be pushing towards PR or citizenship. So this is something you should note. You can move to Portugal with your family. And the embassy is only in Abuja, Nigeria. Now, there are things I want to mention here and I will be taking a look at my daughter. But before I do this, I also give you a list of some universities in Portugal. You can equally apply to them. Now, let me just quickly rush through the universities so you can know what to do. Well, the first university you can apply to in Portugal is called the University of Aveiro. Another university is called Institute Catholic de Lisbon. There are a whole lot of universities. You have the University of Lisbon as well. Then you have, uh, anyways, I'm going to come back to the list. Let me just give you the opportunities that you need to know. Another opportunity is that for when you are applying to Portugal, you can apply to maybe more than five universities. I think the maximum is six. Remember, these universities may have an application fee you have to pay. But if at all there is no application fee, then advantage is yours. Now, let me give you a list of the universities before I proceed. You have Institute uh, University of Lisbon. You have Catholic University in Portugal. You have University of Agalfe, University of Lisbon, University of Mino. You have uh, University of Beira, University of Cumbria, University of Porto. So these are some of the schools you need to apply to in portugal in case you want to apply to portugal now also remember that most of these schools i think just one of them 
do not need legalization. Then in uh, subsequent videos, I'm going to try to fish out that particular school that do not need legalization. Also remember that Portuguese University has a particular number they are going to take. They have a tariff that they follow. As soon as they get the number of students that are qualified, they close the portals. Remember also that some schools do not have bachelors in English, while others do not have masters in English. Some teach in both languages. So when you go to the school website, check the language of instruction. Very important. Then remember, some universities might require you to take an entrance examination. Sometimes it's usually at the Portuguese embassy. Sometimes it's going to be only through the school. Then application is done through the school website. All right, there is a centralized website. Everybody has to do application, especially the master's degree students. For master's and PhD applicants, you can apply through the school website. There is no issue about it. I think PhD in Portugal is almost free. Of course, PhD in most countries like the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Germany is almost free. Even the United States, PhD students are fully funded. So if you are studying in Europe, just know that you are not going to pay a lot of money. PhD is research. So definitely the school might even be paying you money. So you have to put this into consideration. Remember I said tuition fee is very cheap in Portugal. So you have to remember all these details. Now, before you go through the application, before you start the application, like I said, when in a school website, these are the key things you need to check. One, application date and deadline. Two, admission requirements. You have to check all the requirements. And if you check those requirements very well, send a message to the international office to verify if you need legalized documents to apply or not. Please do not forget, verify this. It is very important. Three, I talked about uh, the others. Now you have to check tuition fee. How much is the program you are applying to? How much is the tuition fee? Four, check the language. Which language is the program going to be taught in? All right, and to a greater extent, some universities put on their websites um, how you can apply for visa and the proof of funds. If you are doubting the proof of funds, after you pay your entire one year tuition, the proof of funds you need to have could be in your bank account or in your sponsor's account. And this money needs to be at least 6,000 to 6,500 euros. Then I'm going to talk about a whole lot of other things about Portuguese universities very soon. But like I said, do not forget that Portugal is one of the most flexible countries in the world. Of course, as an international student, you are going to work. There is no big deal about that. So you should put this into consideration. Remember, Portugal always have a problem when it comes to appointments and booking of appointments. So this is one thing you should really consider. Always remember to put this into consideration because you might apply for a school now upon visa application, you start getting uh, stories. So one thing I will also advise you to do when applying to Portugal, apply to another country, maybe Lithuania, maybe Latvia, maybe Slovenia, maybe Slovakia. It depends now on you. Or if you have money to a greater extent, Germany and Norway. As of now, Norway is already open and accepting application. Germany is starting already with some few schools. So this is the information you need. I will be dropping videos one after the other for various universities and the programs, the tuition fee requirements and everything you need to know. I hope this helps you till we meet again in another one.